Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Shall we lift up our voice and give him all the praise? Let us celebrate his faithfulness. For he is worthy to be praised. The unchangeable El Shaddai, we adore you, Jesus. We thank you, King of Kings. We honor you, ancient of days. The omnipotent God, the omniscient God. We thank you for this is that day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou magnified, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the privilege. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. Thank you, Asian of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. You're welcome to Living Spring Christian Center, a place where all shattered hopes have been restored, a place where the captives have been set free. I believe today God has a plan and a purpose for you. And as the word of God comes, that word of God will expose every form of darkness. And everything that consigns your life will reflect the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are still in the month of February 2023. Hallelujah. And the Lord has given us the word in this month. This has been our month of thanks and good news. I know you will hear good news. That bad news you've been hearing for a long time is about to change. Everything that the enemy has been using to oppress you, today God is about to take it up. So that you will be in command. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Lord has given us a word that in this very service, which is a Tuesday healing, miracles and deliverance service, your word will come until your word comes it will not produce healing miracles or deliverance praise the lord but there's one factor that we need to hold on to for the word of god to be potent there's a factor we need to hold on to and i believe god is going to make it happen for us in jesus mighty name amen, amen. hallelujah amen. we'll be going to god in prayers as we open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 18. Amen. Amen. For the powerful, the just is like a shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Hallelujah. Amen. It said, The path of the just is like a shining light that shineth every day unto a perfect day. Amen. You are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus as I have come before you, come before you. let my life. Constantly and always reflect your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn it into a prayer for you, Father King of Glory. As I have come before you, let my life continue to reflect your glory. 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 Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll be going to God in to praise and worship. Praise the Lord. When we were praying that prayer, the path of the jaws is like a shining light. I saw someone in the realm of the spirit. It's as if they blindfolded you. So, but when we were praying, I saw like a hand losing that blindfold. Amen. That thing that they used to blindfold you. Amen. Which means your vision has been hijacked. The plan and the purpose of God concerning your life was hijacked. But as we are praying that prayer, I just saw, I just saw it like a flash, and I saw that hand losing that blindfold. Today you are free. Amen. Today you are delivered. Amen. Today I see God setting you free. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who are going into praise and worship? Please connect with your heart. Until your heart is connected, God cannot be able to do anything. Praise the Lord. I will worship you forever.
this God in his I know you are here. 
Lord, we thank you, for we know that you are here. We are not guessing whether you are here. We are sure that you are here. When that praise and worship was going on, I saw fibroids melting. It, I just saw it dissolved. You had a negative report concerning this, and it has troubled you for a while. But when the worship was going on, especially when we were singing, I know you are here, your power is in our midst, I just saw the power of God hit the power of darkness. And that sickness holding on to your body just left immediately. And I saw that fiber just melt like wax before the fire. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing that is as strong as when the word of God comes with fire. When it comes to that fire, it's accompanied with power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it, it, you can imagine it came through worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, when the worship was just going on, I kept on seeing a lot of battered and broken hearts being knitted together. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what has kept you in that position. I don't know the situation you might have seen yourself. I don't know what the enemy or the devils have done in you or what they have damaged. But there's one beautiful thing I want you to understand. When God is at work, every work ceases. Hallelujah. Amen. And every work will work in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So no matter the sickness, I saw fibro clearly. It melted. Hallelujah. Amen. And I saw someone, you have been having this knee pain for a while now. And you don't know. But as I speak to you right now, Amen. that pain is gone. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's somebody you woke up this morning and it looks as if there's so much confusion because of so much pressure from the people you are owing. They're putting so much pressure on you. But I hear the Almighty God saying that that debt will be paid. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hear God saying the debt will be paid. Amen. And I kept on hearing debt cancellation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody, you, you took your bath this morning and water went into your ear and you have been feeling very, very uncomfortable. Hallelujah. But I hear that before the service is over, you just feel the water coming out and you'll be free. Amen. In fact, you have used so many things in your ears, but it looks as if it's not getting to where the water is. But wherever the, anything you're using cannot get, the word of God can get there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it says that he, he, the word of God is sharper than anything you just It goes into the bone marrow. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So anything that goes as deep as the bone marrow can locate whatever is working against you and turn it around for your own good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. There is somebody you woke up this morning and you are saying, Lord, when will my prayers be answered? He said that your answer is already in your hands. Praise the Lord. And I was wondering, why will God say the answers are already here? He said what he has put in your hands is the answer to those challenges. Praise the Lord. That is your career or your handiwork. That is the answer to that thing you are crying for. Praise the Lord. All you need to do, put your hands to work. And he will bless the works of your hands. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I know that today's service is, it has been designed by God to fit your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The first scripture that we took, he said that the path of the just yes, Lord. is like a shining light yes, Lord. that shineth every day unto a perfect day. Amen. I will say this to you. There is something that this that makes the fish to have a display of swimming. Until that fish enters the water, you can't see the display of that fish. Or the fish will not come alive. 
That's why I said the path of the just is like a shining light that shines every day unto a perfect day. For you to keep experiencing miracles on a daily basis or deliverance on a daily basis or increase on a daily basis, you need to walk in the faith of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to walk in faith. Because said the path of the just is like a shining light. What makes the just is the faith he has in God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you look at Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. So today we are looking at faith for deliverance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Until you have faith that the word of God will locate you. And that word of God cannot locate the issue. The word of God says something that the hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. He said, but true knowledge shall the righteous be delivered. So the knowledge of God's word is coming your way this very hour. And that word is what will change your story. Because he said the part of the just is like a shining light that shines every day unto it. But what makes the part of the just to shine is when the just is walking in faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're talking about faith for deliverance, faith for healing, faith for miracles, faith for signs and wonder. Praise the Lord. Until your faith is involved, everything around is fake. Praise the Lord. Okay, look at what he says in Habakkuk 2 4. Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Is what he says that the just shall live by his faith. Praise the Lord. It's a personal responsibility. It didn't say the just they will live. He said the just shall live by his faith. So when you have faith, you will keep shining. That's the meaning of that Proverbs 4.18. He said the, the, the part of the just. Because the faith you have in God will keep bringing illumination in your path. Anything that comes your way that represents darkness. Because you have faith in his word. Because you have faith in God. That darkness will be eliminated. Hallelujah. Today, any form of darkness that have been holding you captive, and you are not even aware that you have been held down, today may your eyes be open. May God show forth himself. May God show forth his power. And may God show forth his glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be looking at Romans chapter 1 verse 17 as well. Hallelujah. You see, until you understand what it takes to walk in faith, you might not be able to pursue your dreams. You might not be able to make those things to come, those things that God has said to you. You might not be able to make it to come to pass. Hallelujah. That's why the word of God says, at the entrance of his word, there cometh light. And he giveth understanding to the simple. Hallelujah. He said the word of God has come to chase anything called darkness. The word of God has come to give you that boost. The word of God has come to give you that lifting. The word of God has come to empower you. Praise the Lord. Okay, look at what Romans 1.17 says. It says, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Not from fake to fake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are some people who are living a fake life. But one day it will catch up with them. That's why when you live a life of faith, you will be justified. They said the just shall live. Which means without faith, the just cannot live. Praise the Lord. He said the just shall live by his faith. When you are walking in faith, you believe that God is the only one who has the answers. And believe that his word will see you through. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Until you depend on God's word, you have nothing to stand on. Until you see God's word the way God says it, you have not you have no vision to fulfill, or you have no purpose to walk into. But I pray in the name of Jesus Amen. that this very day, as the word of God comes your way, that word will change your story. Amen. That word will turn your life around. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why all these scriptures are coming, but I know because of you. Hallelujah. If you look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 1, you see, when God is preparing you for the next level, there are some dimensions 
of scriptures that will be released and anyone who grabs or holds onto the scripture his life will experience a beautiful future praise god okay look at what he says galatians chapter 3 verse 1 it says O foolish galatians who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes jesus christ was clearly portrayed amongst you as sacrifice hallelujah crucified amen he said, oh Galatians, who has bewitched you? Do you know when you begin to doubt God, or when you begin to doubt his word, is bewitchment. It's either something is bewitching you, or you're the one bewitching yourself. Because if you look at the subsequent scriptures of Joseph, it has been talking about, the just shall live by his faith. The path of the just is like a shining light, that shineth every day unto a perfect day. He said, from faith to faith. So when you don't walk in faith, then you are walking in bewitchment. Hallelujah. He said, oh foolish God, who has bewitched you? Right before you, you saw Jesus Christ crucified. Right before you, you saw him buried. Right before you, you saw him resurrected. Right before you, you saw him ascending into heaven. How come you find it difficult to believe? Praise the Lord. I'm speaking to you right now. God has given you the day for your life to shine. But because of challenges of life, you are, you are doubting whether God exists. You are doubting whether God is real. If you want to doubt anything, doubt yourself. For you to know that God exists without life, then there's God is the one who has given you the life. Have you ever seen, or have you ever read, or have you ever come across any machine that gives life? No machine on this earth. Or in the whole universe that gives life. It is only God that gives life. But they have many machines that take life. They have many things that take life. But what gives life? They, they have not invented any. People have tried in several ways to try to invent something that can sustain life or that can give life or that can make life. It's not working. Hallelujah. Because God is the only giver of life. Praise the Lord. So that's why I know that today your divine breakthrough has just arrived. Amen. Your divine opportunity has just arrived. Do you know why I'm using this word? Any word you hear is an opportunity for you to make use of it. Amen, sir. Until you make use of it, it remains dormant. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every word of God brings about a revelation. And when you follow that revealed word, you will experience a revolution. I see things changing for your Amen. good. And I see things turning around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Faith for deliverance, faith for victory, faith for healing, miracles, signs and wonders. Today you will see the steps, the practical steps for you to take. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit, faith cannot be ignored. Praise the Lord. As a believer, you must have it. In order to turn obstacles into miracles. Praise the Lord. And to be victorious in all battles of life. You are not born again to suffer again. You are born again to walk in victory. When you are born again, you are not born again for you to be reduced. You are born again for you to be lifted. Simply by believing God, and that is what makes you a faith child of God. Praise the Lord. When you become born again, there is a measure of faith that is given to you by the Spirit of God. And that is what you need to build on. Praise the Lord. When you begin to build on that measure of faith, it becomes great faith. If you look at Jesus, he said to people, O ye of little faith. He said to some people, O you great faith. Oh, I've not seen a faith like this. I've not seen a great faith like this. I've not seen a wonderful faith like this. Praise the Lord. So in life, there are so many things that comes our way. Do you know that for you to even wake up to walk out on the streets, you are walking in faith without you knowing? How are you sure that as you are coming out, something evil won't happen to you? 
But you have the faith that nothing will happen to you. And you have that faith that you jump on the bus or you jump on the train or you jump on your car or you can travel around and nothing. You are already walking in faith. But try to build it on the word of God. Hallelujah. And build it in your spiritual life. If you can build that faith unknowingly to you on your physical activities, you can actually build it on your spiritual life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is faith? In Hebrews 11.1, 1, which is our very popular scripture, praise God. If you look at what faith is saying, faith is just that which can make your hopes to come alive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it now faith is the substance? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The substance of things not seen. not seen. And the evidence of things hoped for. Hoped for. So your expectation is as a result of the substance of what you have applied. Praise the Lord. It's a substance. So you apply substance for hope to carry it and make it alive. Praise the Lord. For example, if you are cooking a wonderful meal, if you don't put the necessary ingredients, it's like a substance that you put to make that meal to taste, to be tasteful. Hallelujah. So faith is the substance that marries hope to produce your harvest. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to break it down the way you understand. You, 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 you carry the substance of his word and place it on your hope and believe that what God has said will definitely come to pass. Praise the Lord. Just as you are applying those um, ingredients on your meal, you know fully whether it will be tasteful. Praise the Lord. So that is how when you use the word of God and you apply it in that situation, you are hoping and believing that your expectation must come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. Believing that your expectation must manifest. Hallelujah. Your expectation will be a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So Faith is a substance that gives you access to God's word to perform. It gives you access to God's word to perform. Faith is simply standing on what God has said because God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Amen. When God says a thing, he means what he says and he says what he means. God is committed to make his word work in your life. A heart that is full of faith is a heart that is full of empowerment. Mm -hmm. A heart that is full of faith is a heart that is ready to take delivery of the manifestations. A heart that is full of faith is a heart that is connected on God's word, not doubting, not wavering, not shaking. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Knowing fully well that what God has said He's more than able to make it happen. Do you know that faith is a spiritual bridge that connects man and God? Faith is the spiritual connectivity that connects God and man. Hallelujah. Amen. Through his word. For divine intervention. Today may God intervene. Amen. May God step into that affair. Amen. That thing that looks impossible. Let God step into it. <laughs> and you will see the beauty. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know what makes a Christian life colorful? Is the beauty of faith at work. Praise the Lord. That's what makes the life of a child of God beautiful. Without faith, it is fake. But I pray in the name of Jesus. That as you hear his word, anything that has been bringing occasional doubt... Or whatever has placed you constantly or permanently in doubt, today you will be delivered. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that faith is one of the ways to please God? Praise God. Hallelujah. And put your enemies to shame. 
and put your enemies to rest. If you look at Proverbs 16 verse 7, hallelujah, it says that when your faith is pleasing God, that your faith will make all your enemies to disappear. Hallelujah. Amen. It will make all your enemies to submit. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's read Proverbs 16 verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes his, even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hallelujah. Amen. When a man's ways please the Lord, he even makes his enemies to be at peace with him. Hallelujah. Amen. If you look at Hebrews eleven six, what makes you to please God? It is only your faith that makes you to please God. Faith is a must if you want to please God. He said, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes his enemies to be at peace with him. So look at what Hebrews eleven six says to us. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said that without faith it is impossible to please God. He said for he that cometh must believe. So your faith is a must. Because without your belief, your faith will not work. You see, without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God, if you are coming to God, your access to the miraculous is your faith. Praise the Lord. He said, he that cometh to God must believe that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. Faith is not occasional. Faith is constant. Praise the Lord. You need to be constantly having faith in God so that you will not experience setbacks, so that you not experience disappointments, so that you don't experience breakdowns. Don't get me wrong, challenges will come, but your faith is what sees you through. Praise the Lord. Because you have faith, when that thing comes, you don't see it as a disappointment. You see it as an opportunity to display God's glory. You see it as an opportunity to display God's word. You see it as an opportunity to make God great. Hallelujah. Amen. So anytime you are faced with challenges, what comes alive is your faith that is tied to God's word. That's why you say he that cometh to God must believe that he is a rewarder. When you want to receive rewards, walk in faith. Walk in faith. When you walk in faith, you believe that your reward is sure. Your reward is guaranteed. Hallelujah. That's why you say that he that cometh to God must. That must is that nothing else but something that you need to know that it will definitely happen when you are diligent in doing it. That you did it the first time, it didn't work. Does not mean if you do it the second time, it will not work. Mm -hmm. Even if you do it the third time, it didn't work. Keep doing it until you see it working. Praise the Lord. Amen. We've heard of several people who tried to make one thing or the other, like Thomas Edison that took thousands of times to make a light bulb, like the Wright brothers that took, the, it took them time to make the airplane. There are some people, in fact, do you know that I've come to discover that everything you and I we are using is their people's ideas. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Pe people are selling their ideas to you. But it started through one step of making something. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And they are coming out. You look at all the gadgets that are out there, all the devices that are out there, all the beautiful things that it's someone's idea put together, packaged together, being sold in the market, being sold on the online. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, one thing you need to understand, when you believe God in and His Word, you are now packaged by God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When you have faith in God, the Word of God packages you. Mm -hmm. The Word of God repackages you and positions you to keep taking delivery, mm -hmm. to keep coming out victorious, mm -hmm. to keep making a way where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus made a statement on how powerful faith can be as a mustard seed. Hallelujah. Amen. He said that little seed can move, if you have faith, that's in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Praise the Lord. You see, when, you, when your belief is in God, that belief you have in God, it builds you up. Faith brings about reward abundantly. 
You can only connect to God through your faith mm -hmm. and not through your tears or fears. Mm. You can only connect to God through your faith, but not through your tears and fears. That's why a wise man says something. He says, when fear knocks at your door, tell faith to go and answer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When fear comes and say, but you said faith, go and answer. What you are saying is that the word of God stands in. Praise God. Amen. So, anytime you are crying and you are not walking in faith, it will not reach God. Mm. Anytime you are feeling fear, there is a difference between feeling fear and being afraid. You can feel fear. You, the, 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 uh, Joyce Meyer wrote a, a very small book uh, titled Do It Afraid. Even though you're afraid, keep taking gradual steps. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not working, keep taking those steps. Even though that fear is there, you are feeling fear, but keep taking those gradual steps. Before you know, you walk into boldness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You walk out of that fear. You walk out of that timidity. You walk out of that sickness. You walk out of that limitation. You walk out of that poverty Amen. mentality. Amen. You walk out of that poverty lifestyle. Amen. You walk out of limitations. Amen. You walk out of evil and demonic activities. I don't know what is facing you right now. But one thing I know for sure is that you are walking out of every limitation. Amen. You are walking out of every evil. Amen. You are walking out of every works of darkness. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you look at that Matthew 17, 20, you see what Jesus says there. Right. So, so Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. Amen. If you say to this mountain, if you have faith as little, what he says is that if you have a spark, hallelujah, Amen. of God's word inside of you, just burning inside of you, just a spark of it, when you begin to dwell on it, it becomes a flame of fire. Mm. It becomes a mountain of fire. Mm. It becomes a realm of fire. Praise the Lord. You just need a spark. For example, you want to turn on your gas. All you need is just a, a that spark. The light comes on. Hallelujah. That, just that little spark, the fire comes on. So what it says that when you have the faith as little, as tiny as that spark, you when you begin to build on it, it becomes a flame of fire. Praise the Lord. It becomes a mountain of fire. No devil will see fire on the mountain and fall into it. No demon, not even sickness. Sickness, there are some sickness that cannot survive in hot conditions. So if your body is on fire, harakatala, no sickness can dwell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They might have thrown some negative report to you through your letter post, or you might have received a negative report through your emails or through your uh, phone through your SMS, hallelujah, mm. or through a phone call, you might have received some kind of negative, but when you stand on what God is saying concerning that situation, that situation has no choice than to change. And I see it changing Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know that your belief system must be married to the word of God for the impossible to become possible? Mm. Your belief system is all about the belief system. Hallelujah. Amen. In Mark chapter 9 verse 23, if you have a great belief system, you know belief system don't just come. Hallelujah. You work on it to make it happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. A good belief system. There are people who have believed that nothing good will ever happen to them because they are not working on their belief system. And the simplest way to work on your belief system is to keep hearing the word of God. And the more you keep hearing the word of God, it builds you up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, if you look at Mark chapter 9 verse 23, look at what it says. It says, Jesus said to them, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can believe, what it says is that keep working on yourself by believing the word of God. Do you know the more you believe the word of God, the more you are able to conquer. The more you believe the word of God, the more you are able to put the devil to shame. The more you believe the word of God, the more you are able to turn impossibilities into possible things. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know that faith gives you victory on all sides? Faith gives you the platform to stand on. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have never walked in faith before, try and allow faith, the, 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 the belief you have in God's word, to fight for you. Over and over, there are so many challenges that I've seen in this my very little life. And I stand on God's word. And he will just take it as if a child is being carried by his father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what faith does for anyone who works on their belief system. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why if you look at 1 John 5, 4, he said, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. He said, this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. There is so many challenges in the world. That's why he said you need faith to be victorious. You need faith to be victorious. Today, they say to you, they have earthquake happening in this city. They have... Um, uh, flood happening in that city. They have um, uh, sickness, outbreak of plagues. They have different things happening in various cities. Do you know that if you are not in tune with the word of God, you begin to feel that th those things will happen to you. If you are not connected to God's word, you begin to feel. That's why he say in First John 5, 4, he said, Whatsoever is born of God, overcome it, the world. If you look at your scripture or that particular verse, he said the world. There are so many negative things in the world. There are so many things seeking your attention. There are so many things trying to drag your feet off. There are so many things trying to get you down. But because you have faith in God's word, that is how your victory is established. So your victory is established by the word of God. Praise the Lord. Do you know that the answer you are looking for in order to bring down all challenges and all the problems in your life is tied to your faith in God. All the answers you are looking for. In order to bring down all challenges and problems in your life is tied to faith. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Faith is a substance you can take as a global currency. Anywhere you go, it works. It works in any nation. It works anywhere. It works anytime. Hallelujah. If you look at uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, it's a substance that you can carry. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's not something that is invis It's something that you can carry. It's hand you can handle it. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. When you carry the word of God, not putting it on your armpit, it, putting it on your armpit, it will not fight for you. Putting it under your pillow, it will not fight for you. La putting it on your bed, it will not fight for you. Displaying it on your car dashboard, it will not fight for you. It is the decree with a heart of connectivity that makes it work. Amen. Until it is being declared, it cannot work. Until it's, it's been acted upon, it cannot work. Hallelujah. Amen. So look at what it says in that Ephesians 6.16. And it says, Above all, above all mm -hmm. taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Is it above or taking? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Which means it can be handled. Mm -hmm. Taking the shield of faith, mm -hmm. which will be able to quench all the disappointments. Mm -hmm. Fiery darts. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what it means. Don't believe this man. He's making noise. Because he put he, he's putting on suit and he's coming before you. It's, don't the, the devil will tell you, don't believe him. Don't you see that he looks good? Don't believe him. They will they will come in various ways. Say, don't mind these people. Don't mind. That's how they are saying. Faith, 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 faith everywhere. As it produced, the devil will come with so many negative thoughts. He will even show you how your father failed. Show you how your aunties, your uncles, your mother, people around you. He will show you how they failed. You might even flick on your television channel. You will hear one bad news. He said, look at what I'm telling you. You may want to tune onto your radio or turn onto your devices. A negative report will just come up. They'll say breaking news. Uh, two dead. Five fired. All those kind of things. The devil will keep bringing it up. Why? To take your faith away. To destroy that faith you have in God. But I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as you are hearing the word of God, you'll be building yourself in him. Amen. It says that faith can be handled. Yes. So when you handle it, it becomes a global currency. Hallelujah. Amen. That anywhere you go, you can make use of it. 
and you can make use of it to quench all the activities of hell to quench all the activities of the devil here on earth to destroy whatever look at one thing you need to know look at in first john 5 19 you should know that the devil has taken a resident permit on this earth hallelujah it's only those who walk in faith can be able to knock the devil out of their way it's only those who walk in faith can be able to put the devil in his place hallelujah Amen. praise god hallelujah. okay says we know that we are of god and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth under the control of the wicked one. Who is the wicked one? The devil is the wicked one. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at 1 Peter 5, 8 to 9. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see, one thing you need to know is that the devil will keep coming until you show him that he is not able to stop you. Hallelujah. Amen. And it only takes the word you speak in faith. Not the word you speak in fear, or the word you speak in fears, or the word you speak in doubt. I've seen people, they quote the scripture perfectly well, but the condition of their heart was not strong enough to give it lifting. There are, there are some people that when, you, when they come to you, oh, pastor, I've been going through this, I've been going through that. And when you want to give them scriptures, before you open your mouth, they've already, given, they've already quoted all the scriptures. It's not about quoting scripture. It's about walking on what you have quoted. Or believing what you have quoted. Or standing on what you have quoted. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at what, what First Peter 5, 8 to 9 says. It says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. You see what he says? He says he's rolling around like a lion, but he's not. That they say something looks like this doesn't make that thing that thing. Hallelujah. Amen. He's like, but he's not. So one thing you need to understand is that when you see the activities of hell coming anywhere around you, you take the shield of faith. And as soon as you take the shield of faith, that devil knows that they can't stop you. Like Jesus Christ, the devil came to him and said to him, if you are the son of man, can you command stones to become bread? Jesus said to him, it is written. Do you know, in life, never you focus on what is happening, but focus on what is written and stand and believe that what is written will write the devil off. Do you know that what is written can write your bills off? What is written can, can wipe away that sickness. What is written and you stand on it can make your life sweet. It can bring that husband that you are crying for every night. It can bring that wife that you are crying for every night. Those children that you are crying for, they, they, what is written can make those children locate you. What is written can give you a peaceful home. What is written can give you career. What is written can give you your business breakthrough. What is written can pull your documents out of the home office. What is written can cause that sickness to leave your body. Because he said himself took all our infirmities. Jesus said, I became poor that you and I might become rich. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said that follow what is written so that you will not be written off. Follow what is written so that you will not be able to fall into the plans or the plot of the enemy hallelujah Amen. today i see god fighting for you Amen. i see god changing your story Amen. i see god turning things around Amen. in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. hallelujah Amen. when you locate the word of god the allocation of your blessing will be released mm. unto you when you locate the word of God in that area of challenge yes. the allocation of your blessings will come to you Locating the word of God without acting on it, you will not see anything. But when you locate the word of God, you act upon it. That is where faith comes in. Mm. You act upon it. And when faith comes in, hope has no choice than to manifest. Hope has no choice than to produce. Hope has no choice than to bring about that testimony. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hope is simply your expectations. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Without faith, you cannot motivate God to act on your behalf. Because faith is what triggers. Faith is what provokes. And I see that faith 
that you exercise today. There are so many things about faith, but I will be stopping here so that you will walk with what you have heard, mm -hmm. so that you will see God than seeing the devil, mm -hmm. so that you magnify his word than magnifying challenges, mm -hmm. so that you will see Harakashin Daraba. There's somebody you are in the valley right now. But because you are hearing this word, you are coming out of that valley. Amen. When you believe that you come out of that valley, you see yourself on the mountaintop. But when you don't believe, you still remain in the valley. I see God bringing you out. Amen. I see God changing your story. Amen. I see God turning things around for your good. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's begin to appreciate God. Give him thanks. Give him all the glory. Say, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou glorified, Almighty Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know it takes faith to give your life to Jesus as well? Hallelujah. We have come to the end of today's message, but before we run off, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, or if you have accepted Him and along the line you made mistakes, all you need to do is to rededicate your life and Jesus will be glorified in your life and all the time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Just repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I believe that you came. You were crucified. You shed your blood on the cross of Calvary to wash away my sins and sorrows. Thank you, Jesus, that you died. You were buried. And you rose on the third day. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, King of glory, let your grace preserve your sons and your daughters who have come back to you, hallelujah, who have made a conscious decision that they have accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. May they not go back. I pray you will not go back. Amen. I pray you will not go back. Amen. No situation or circumstances will cause you to go back. Amen. If you have said something ill of God, today your sins are forgiven. Amen. And that mercy will take away every judgment. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Amen. Congratulations if you have said that prayer. You are now a born again child of God. All you need to do is to look for a Bible believing church near where you are or you can join us on this platform and the name of the Lord will be glorified in Jesus mighty name it is settled amen, amen. hallelujah amen. glory to God hallelujah amen. we'll be taking our offerings tight kingdom investments hit the description button you see every available channel of giving it takes faith to give praise the Lord hallelujah. because say in Luke 6 38 he said, Give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press and shake it. He says, So shall men give unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you give in faith, you will receive a bountiful harvest. Praise the Lord. As you honor God, may the Lord bless all that your hands touches to do. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amazing God. Amazing God, you do mind-blowing things. Amazing God, you do mind-blowing things. Amazing God, you come through.
of days. Thank you, King of Kings. May your name alone be praised. May your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As the Lord has given us the ability to honor him with our fight and offering, may everything you are struggling with, everything that has ever fought you, turn around to be a blessing to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary, that blood will fight for you. Amen. That blood will make a way for Amen. you. That blood will turn things around for your good. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You, Blessed be your devil God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Before we round off, please take this closing information. Hallelujah. We'll be meeting tomorrow for my needs and med service. Hallelujah. Amen. It has been an awesome time every Wednesday by 7.30 p.m. on this platform. Mm -hmm. And this Saturday is going to be our anointing service. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Come with a bottle of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. By 12 on this platform. And on Sunday, we'll be meeting by 12 again on this platform. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What I want to announce to you is that every service is power packed. Don't say this service that you, you know. You don't know this service that will be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So anytime you are coming, come prepared. And as you come prepared, God is ever ready to release. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is only a prepared heart that can take what has already been prepared. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It has already been prepared. God is not going to prepare. It has already been prepared. All you need to do, come with a preparer to take delivery. Yes. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's somebody, when, when, when the offering was going on, there are some negative utterances you made towards the things of God. You, you said all these things, and the things have been bringing trouble and challenges for you. But I hear God that as you ask for mercy, His mercy will wipe away every judgment. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. there's somebody you are, you are manipulated into some kind of business and that business is not working well and you are feeling so bad. Mm. All you need to do, don't carry out what is in your heart mm. because what is in your heart can end your life. Mm. Just allow the Spirit of God to help you to be calm to know what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I believe that Every word we have heard today is working things out for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So in case if your birthday is in the month of February, I want us to pray for you. Or your wedding anniversary is in the month of February. I want us Just take the mobile number that is displayed on the description button. Send a text. Hallelujah. Send us what you want us to rejoice 
uh, with you for hallelujah Amen. we'll lift it up in prayers as well Amen. praise the lord hallelujah. there's somebody you have been trusting and believing god for a property mm. i just see it released right now Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. you have been you have been in fact you have been waiting for so long and in fact you, your mind is already out of it mm. but god will surprise you Amen. in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. there's somebody i'm seeing something very funny it's like a pause coming out from this side of your body i don't want to be a bit discreet hallelujah a pause is like bringing out some whitey stuff hallelujah and you've taken some kind of medications and it's not getting better but supernaturally it will dry off Amen. everything will dry you, everything will dry up Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. everything will dry up Amen. hallelujah Amen. in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen. there's another person you've been having problem with your teeth hallelujah Amen. And it has been giving you some kind of foul smell. But right now, the Lord will fix it. Amen. And that will be the end of that foul smell. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that the blessings of God that make it rich. And added no sorrow rest upon you. Amen. Change your story. Amen. And turn your life around. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. There's somebody else. Every time you wake up, there's this sharp pain. At your neck. At the back of your neck. Very sharp pain. And you cannot really explain what is happening i think you i think you, you i see you've gone for it and they give you some painkillers nothing is working but today receive your supernatural healing amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. thank you king of kings amen. blessed be your name oh god amen. and there's somebody else i see pain on your ankle it's like a sharp pain on your ankle but i as you are just stretching it out as i speak to you right now that's the end of it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name it is settled. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So remember to join us tomorrow Wednesday by 7.30 p.m. for my needs are met service. Amen. And you will not regret it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as we share the grace. May Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, and do enjoy the rest of your day. See you tomorrow by His grace.